guys, let's talk about rounding whole numbers. Now for here, we need to look at this number, which is 362, based on its place values, and we're going to round it, because we want to get a number that ends with zero, or whatever digit will end with zero. So what we look at is what place we want to round to. So for example, if we're rounding to the tens place, this is going to be the last non-zero number. So we're going to round a 2 to a 0. We're going to need to look if it's greater than 5 or less than 5. So this is really important. If it's greater than 5, then we're going to make sure that we're going to round up. If it's less than 5, we're going to round down. So this is really important here. But that's all you really need to remember. The next thing we're going to look at is if the number is in its correct place. So let's try this out. If it's tens, we're going to round the two. So is the two greater than five or less than five? Well, it's less than five, which means we're going to round this down. So that means this number, the six, is going to stay as a six. And that's what rounding down means. So we're going to say 362. We're going to round that to 360. Now for our next example, we're rounding to the hundreds, which is the 3. Which means we're going to look at the 6 to see if it's greater than 5 or less than 5. And it is greater than 5, which means we're going to round up. So we're going to say this is 400. Thanks for watching.